Forgive the delay. We have visited every region and confirmed the presence of Asians throughout the realm. Lest a grave predicament be made to seem hopeless, it should be noted that they are of inferior rank. The black masked minions who answer to the red. Yes, a gaggle of schemers attempting to exploit recent events, to sow the seeds of petty conflict. Fortunately, nothing of any great concern has come of their meddling just yet. We also encountered a number of the Crystarium's former defenders, busily solving this problem and that in a bid to become warriors of light. Their zeal is to be applauded. It is but a pity I cannot encourage them on their course. Not knowing Elizabeth set them upon it, no. Both the troubles to be solved and the villains to be vanquished are his doing too, like as not. And so, with apologies to the aspiring warriors of light, I believe it best that we deal with the Asians quickly and quietly. I quite agree. But tell us, what news from the source? How fare our bodies? Then we must redouble our efforts. Not that we've ever stinted in that regard. This would seem an appropriate moment to ask about the spirit vessel. Tell me you've made some progress. We have, as it happens. One moment. Then this doth mean... For the benefit of all, permit us to explain. As you will recall, using white aura sight as our starting point, we fashioned a vessel for mind and memory both. Yet, though it served this purpose admirably, the process of imbuing it with one's complete essence proved a somewhat thornier proposition. Simply put, the memory would not accompany the mind. And so, we looked to the Allegan's mastery of memory transference for a solution. This approach was not without its own complications, however, relying as it does upon blood, which inanimate objects notably do not possess. We duly explored methods of suffusing the vessel with drops of the aforementioned. Alas, our painstaking experimentation succeeded only in making me feel faint, and singularly failed to imbue the crystal with the necessary properties. It was then that an idea occurred to me, namely that we might fuse the vessel not with normal blood, but with my crystallized essence. You're doing this for our sakes. So far be it from us to complain. But don't think we haven't noticed what's happening to your arm. It falls well short of offering up my life in exchange for yours, which was your only stipulated prohibition, as I recall. And it is but a small price to pay for delivering you home. Assuming it works, we shall soon know if this grisly addition will serve as a suitable conduit for the subject's memory. Though not soon enough to warrant your waiting, the test is like to take a while. Let us be off then. We have Asians to attend to, among other things. Forgive me, but I count six vessels, and there are only five of us. One is for testing purposes. I will personally use it to see whether the crystal functions as it should. And if it does, wouldn't that mean that your soul could also return to the source? 
Yes. In theory, at least. But there is a distinct difference between your circumstances and mine. While your corporeal forms want for souls, my past self does not. Mayhap our essences would blend, or mayhap they would curdle. There is no telling what might occur. And you'd be willing to take that risk? I would. I see. 